Hopefully not if you draw for love, but never when I'm on the job. <coughs> hey folks, welcome back. <coughs> There's been a little split there, I do believe, assuming my timing is correct. <coughs> so welcome back to the show. Oh, you're enjoying this, uh, this little trek. Through the kidnap level of Thief 2 so far. And hopefully I remember to cut that massive cough out. Ah, uh, it's always the way. You get perfectly fine most of the day, and then you come to record, and all of a sudden, the throat seals up, phlegm descends, and I'm talking like anti circus in Lord of the Rings. Unintentionally, of course. The hell is this? There is no god here, only Zul. Whee! No? No Bill Murray coming to save me? Fuck oh, that shit off. We obey the laws of physics around here, son. Either get with that or get out of my house. I don't think I'll say that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Bograff, did you hear me knock him through the wall? I suppose technically you would have, but even so, that's a bit of a stretch, mate. Okay. Yes, doing my calisthenics. What of it? Oh, one of these days I'm going to learn to push the correct buttons in the correct order, in the correct sequence. To achieve what actually... Yeah, so then you're pivot training, huh? You turn me right round, baby, right round. Like a Victrola. Round, 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 round. Verily. Okay. Seriously, you're, just gonna, you're completely broken now. You're just going to keep pivoting in place over and over. I guess that answers my question. I need to knock you out because I want to see if there's anything in the rooms beyond you. Also, you do occasionally pause. Just not very bloody often. Go! He was already starting to turn again, that was bullshit. Thankfully the camera can't see me at this distance and with this even partial darkness going on. Doesn't seem to care about the body, funnily enough. Which I'm grateful for, of course. I mean, as far as I understand, the cameras aren't actually being remote viewed, they're just surveillance machines in and of themselves, self contained units. Designed to recognize and raise an alert anytime someone not in a hammer uniform, or a mechanist uniform even, enters the general vicinity. It would work out nicely for me if these were proper surveillance units, you know, remote viewed by actual people. Leaving a body lying around would uh, screw me over entirely. God damn it, all these people floating. I wonder what that's about. I wonder why character models are lying on their back float. But if they're lying on their front, they're flush to the ground. I don't get that. There's probably some sort of programming thing involved that would explain it to me, but bugger if I can bother to look it up. To be quite frank. No secrets in here? No? Nothing at all? I got used to libraries containing secrets. This is something of a, of a disappointment, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, well, to each his own, I guess. What's down here? Absolutely bloody nothing. Great. That was literally just a dead end corridor for me to hide in, I presume. Ah, uh, okay. Let's find out what was up this corridor. Once the camera bugs off and allows me to actually look. Yes, I am quick saving a lot. You kind of have to in, uh, in this game series. Interesting noise you've got going on here. This is the room where they make the goop, apparently. It appears to just be you. Yeah, just you patrolling back and forth, huh? Okay. Somewhat of a, uh, a useless patrol route, I can't help but feel, but. I think I'm assuming you're patrolling. Perhaps you're just burning off nervous energy while you wait for your sift to change or something, I don't know. You've got a key as well. Something on your waist, I'm sure I just saw. Yeah, you just walk the entire length of the room. Okay, That's, I can I can deal with that. Just drop down a mouse arrow over a little patch of stone here between the two carpets. So I'd have you spinning around the instant I try to transition this particular area. God, the moss is all over the balustrade and everything. Okay. Don't worry. Soon you'll be asleep with all the others. 
and then you can relax. Your duty's done, and I can rob the place blind. So it works out for everybody eventually. Go. Ba 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 ba. Bonk. No, oh, you didn't have any fun. You waste after all. Mine. Uh, I think you're fine. This is also mine. <laughs> what else we got? Goodies hidden around here. No? Hmm. <laughs> I look like I've just nailed the mechanism symbol right over the old Kershock symbol. Objective complete, apparently. Ah, wondrous discovery. For the chance to learn here, I would excuse Karras far more than he hath done. Mayhap I spoke too soon. Of all the wonders our ancestors have left for our discovery, Karras is fascinated by only the smallest portion. Yet without his aid, it would be naught to explore. Still, more Ruskas have arrived. I sent it as well to the lava, for I cannot convince Karras how little use we have for it. If only Cestus Amicus could carry more digging supplies instead. So yeah, you found a huge wealth of like old civilization tech and whatnot. And all he's interested in is the stuff that turns people into slaves and the stuff that dissolves living tissue. Well, organic tissue more specifically. Presumably that's what's contained within the cultivators. They're designed to clear out large portions of natural landscape to then be built upon. Yeah, considering how much these guys worship mechanization and such, I can see that being used incorrectly, should we say, to be charitable. I can well imagine that the original civilization designed, designed it, as I say, to be a terraforming tool. Not to be used as a way of wiping out, like, all the world's forests or some such, which no doubt these nutbags intend to do. Ugh. The things we go through, eh? The things we go through. Right, let's just see, what do I need to do here? I'm wondering what the point of the diary is, actually. It doesn't really tell me much, if anything, to be quite frank. It mentions digging supplies. Perhaps that's supposed to be a clue that I could put a hinder on things by stealing their supplies? That would explain the, um, the objective note you get when you pick up the diamond drill bit, actually. Where he talks about setting back the mechanist's tasks by swiping their supplies or some such. But the thing is, that note doesn't really require a, uh, a trigger point, such as this diary. I don't think it works quite well if it's just an observation that Garrett would make as he picked it up. Hmm. Perhaps it was designed that way. Just so that if you found it without finding the diary first, it, it wouldn't be obvious that you'd missed a step, so to speak. Mm. I don't know, it's just kind of weird the way this game handles these sort of things sometimes. I mean, I appreciate that there are notes lying around pointing towards certain objectives, but... Sometimes I don't think they're entirely necessary. Mm. I suppose it's, it's better than like the diamond drill bit just not being pick-upable until you'd found this note. I can appreciate that for definite. I've played plenty of games where that kind of nonsense happens. You see something you quite clearly need, which a character won't even look at it until you found a note saying it's important. So it's a, it's a step ahead from other games with theory in that respect, I guess. <sighs> yes, I'm waffling a little. I'm, uh, I've got half an eye on the time trying to do other things while I'm doing this, so... But, uh, you know, we'll crack on in a bit. Is there anything else I need to go over? No, I don't believe there is. Oh! I'm going to alternate uploads of this between this and uh, the Dark Souls 3 Herald playthrough. For those of you haven't figured that out already. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, see, makes sense as a follow on objective. Yeah, fair enough. Right. Where do I need to go next? I think I've basically cleared this building out, haven't I? Okay, I have now. <laughs> Picked up the one arrow that was just lying on the side for no apparent reason. Ooh, bugger! Well, that was uncalled for, game. That was definitely uncalled for. Yeah, well. These things are sent to try us and all that. Yeah, I didn't even notice this room to start with. Uh, lockpick. Get a bit closer. 
Nobody around to hear it anymore, so I don't have to be particularly concerned about how much noise I'm making while I'm doing this. There we go. No, oh, that's speed potion. That could be useful. Speed potions are, uh... I'm coming across more and more circumstances in which those are very useful to have. Just the ability to transition across, like, from cover to cover, at great speed is... Oh, well, it's invaluable, to be quite frank. Should I waste a fire arrow on you? Hmm. It probably would be a waste. There'll not be around to hear me explode you, though, in fairness. Nah, bugger it, I'll just run. It's fine. Yeah, I'll get well around the corner before he even sees me. Okay. Ooh, there's a note behind that door I didn't notice. One sec. What's all this about? Site 5 have been set aside for Brother Cavador and his private staff. No other presence shall be tolerated here. The cog seats not the furnace, nor the kindling the gear. Let the design of the builder guide thee to thy place. Okay. So this was like his private barracks. This, I presume this is where he would have ended up. If I'd spent so much time exploring the level that he'd finished his little patrol route. I probably got quite lucky, actually, encountering him where I did. It, per it, it worked out almost perfectly. He was in the one stretch of corridor that was away from all the other, you know, set patrol routing guards, and with a handy place that I could stash him in a dark corner. Yeah. Well, if no one's going to be coming here, they're on orders not to. If I lock the place up, you know, I don't have to worry about anyone, you know, coming in and discovering all the bodies. Unconscious bodies, but bodies nonetheless. Okay. If I go down to site 3, I'll probably go like 3, 4, and then backtrack to 2, I think. We'll see how it works out. Yeah. Dodging like a pro. Okay. Now, I need to go straight ahead, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. That helps immensely. Yeah, I know where I'm going now. Right, so, down here should be the way to site number 3. Okay. We have a plan. Not necessarily a good plan, but a plan. The room of lava. Great stuff. Oh, and that's the uh that's where they would have been patrolling back and forth, so maybe they could have seen me from over there if they were still conscious and whatnot, I guess. Okay. Lots of random high holes. Anything in these buildings around here? Apart from lava, they should have melted the stone of that building long ago. Nothing in the corners? No? Again, I presume these are just like little hidey holes. For if the guards are chasing you, that sort of thing. I can't seem to get into that building unless I go over the top, maybe. No, nothing in here either. And there was a door I could have gotten in quite easily. Great, of course. Uh, of course there was, because why would there not be? Mm. It's very brightly lit out here, which I don't really appreciate. Ah, there we go. No, nobody. It's weird how deserted some of these areas are, actually. I expected there to be more patrols. Especially, you know, they've been talking about this whole business of uh, making sure all the tunnels are clear of Kershocks and whatever else have you. And yet, quite clearly, large swathes of this place that are completely deserted. Yeah, give myself an approach to this entrance where I can remain... I hear rubbets. I can definitely hear rubbets. Hmm... Put that out as well, just to be on the safe side. God damn it! Ah, you know what? I wouldn't give to not hit like the edge of bloody uh, collision boxes on objects in in video games in general. Nothing more annoying when you should have like a completely clear line of sight between you know yourself and whatever you're aiming at. You bounce off the edge of a collision box that wasn't properly coded to the actual edge of the model. That's a lot of dudes in that very big pit. Nope. Speaking of dudes. 
my mind, put something very valuable in this pit. God damn it. Something very valuable indeed. A few lots of risk. Not risk, too. <sighs> I used to speak good, I swear I did. A few lot too overladen to play with security as you have. This is such a thing as an authorized malfunction. I mean, really now. Okay, puts me back in darkness. Hmm. I'm running quite low on water arrows, though. Actually, definitely a chest over there, though. Okay. okay. We'll come back to that, I think. Yeah, I'll come back to that in a moment. I'll quickly check out. Uh, this general direction first. That's the main. Okay, oh, this is the main entrance to site number three. What I found was like a little sneaky entrance that avoids the lights and such. Okay. Okay. Right. See so again, it'd be great if you could like sneak behind like the turret down there and just turn it off. So even if the cameras went off, it wouldn't fire. You know. I think that'd be great, personally, but apparently the game disagrees. I say the game disagrees. There's definitely disagreement going on, but it's not coming from the game itself. Hmm. See, I'm a little annoyed that all of the green lights seem to be on. I mean, Cavadol's not that close to this location. At least I don't think so, anyhow. So all of these should have gone off, providing me with, you know, Nice, simple, handy routes of escape. Or infiltration, more accurately in this case. And yet I've ended up in a situation where the green lights mean that the place is even more illuminated than it would normally be. I'm also admittedly annoyed there don't seem to be any switches to turn off the electric lights either. They're also like self-contained and eternally self-powering. Which is deeply irritating. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Oh, bugger off, did you hear that? I didn't hear that. <laughs> okay. Camera can't see me from here. No one else should be able to either, actually. As long as I'm careful. Can I get that torch from all the way over here, I wonder? We're about to find out. <laughs> I made a slight puddle in front of the torch, but I didn't hit anything else. Okay. Might need to rethink that particular plan of attack. Uh, shit. There's really no easy way of doing this, is there? No matter which direction you travel in, you have to enter the light. Even if only briefly, that's a chance. I can be seen and alerts can be raised and it's a whole thing basically. Which I'm not a fan of at all. Uh, this is going to be a tricky one, I feel. Yeah, a tricky one indeed. See how close can I get before I uh, become visible? Okay, so a little bit... There we go. That's as close as I can get before the game says I am seeable by the enemy. Hopefully that's close enough to make up for the... Oh, fuck off. That should have been easily close enough. Damn it. Slightly lower. And about there should do it. Perfect. So the camera is now in darkness. I don't know how far that affects its vision cone, though. Like, would it still be able to see me standing in the light outside of the dark radius? Or if I reduced its vision cone by putting it itself in darkness? Probably things I should have figured out before. Or, you know, long ago, even. Uh, oh. I'm basically out of water arrows, too, for the most part. So if I, like, dart along the ridge, I could probably... Do it that way if I'm quick enough. Hmm. 
If I stick along the wall, and make sure to only run when they're not going to be looking even vaguely in my direction. I should be able to manage this. It'll help as well if I can put out that torch at the end real quick. I'm not going to risk a long distance shot just in case it fails. I'm going to do this like from right up close. Yeah. There we go. I should basically be in perfect darkness right now. Marvellous, exactly as I planned. Okay. Drop a moss arrow, jump off the edge, go get the treasure, and then figure out how the hell I'm getting back up afterward. That's my plan. Oh fuck. Um. I don't know what happened there. I fell through the edge of the terrain and landed down here. That was not, that was not the plan. Biscuit for a biscuit. Go, 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 go. Right. Don't you dare fall off the edge and die. Don't you bloody dare. Right, you can wait over here for me by the chest. Let's go take care of her so my way back is clear. Hmm. Ah, there she is. I couldn't actually see her for a second. Go, go, go. Before she gets into the light. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, that went swimmingly now, didn't it? Hmm, some gas mines. Not, not the worst thing I could have found, but... Using up all my water hours to get them, perhaps not the best use of my resources, but oh well. Praise carrots indeed, they're good for you. Give you excellent night vision. Well, you know, if you're going to build a robot with a lisp, I am going to take the piss. Let's face it. Ugh, oh, great. Brightly lit. Noise activated robots. Cameras everywhere. I kind of doubt I can get down there without being spotted by at least one of the cameras. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Something of a problem, to put it mildly. Uh, I don't know if it's even worth going down there. I mean, again, I could 